My boy Anders. Hey everyone, my name is Anders. My boy Anders. This this guy is literally one of our best YouTubers. Hands down, one of our best YouTubers. Anders literally releases all these fantastic videos about like the updates in the game and stuff. And we're getting Ulakita. Uh Anders, enough said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll link it right away for so you guys can see it. If you guys aren't subbed to this guy, this is like the most credible. Like this guy is so good at YouTube. And today we are going to look at the brand new region. The upgraded version of Chris Polly. I think that that is unfair. Chris Polly makes amazing videos. You just have to have subtitles on. Expansion for Black Desert. This new region is south of Medea and is called Ulukita, the Noble Land. Currently, there are two grind spots in one major city called mm. Osberg. Yeah, I mean, like Loki, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's no joke when Choice starts a, a Chris Polly video and goes, all right, boys, hard mode, and then he just fucking turns off subtitles. Con, there are plans to release two more grind spots in the next two months with the addition of a main story quest line continuing the story of Prince Barides and an additional quest line for obtaining the best in slot boots, Ator's shoes. For now, there is nothing you need to do to- All right, so the fact that we're getting Ator's shoes this early is kind of juiced. Unlock this region. You can go there. Also, main story quest line. LOL. Yeah. You know, I heard that this was going to be a bandit region. Like Moikwin. Is that true? That's what I'm actually here to see. I, I want to know if he if he talks about it. As the region is updated on your yeah, server. Yeah, I heard that Red Karma players is just going to be a Korea, lawless hellscape. Be releasing to global PC yeah, that's soon. fun. From the city of Osper Khan, you can head to one of the two grind spots. City of the Dead is a 310 AP level. Who said that? I've heard it from a lot of people. Desert, not lawless. Oh, it's going to be lawless. 61 or higher zone and Tungrad ruins is a 320 AP level 63 or higher zone. The accuracy requirement for Tungrad ruins is much higher than City of the Dead. These grind spots are vast, possibly the largest area of Honestly, I like this this trend towards accuracy accessories because it doesn't make me feel bad about getting accuracy accessories just for PvP. I like this. I need it in PvE too now. Any grind spot I've seen to date, City The of Desert is becoming non-lawless? No. No way. No, that, that there's no shot. The dead also includes a nearby node that is a... What, are they just going to get rid of Moikwin? Hair and general good spot where you can replenish your potions, repair your gear, everything you need. I don't like it as a bad accuracy class. Honestly, you should have chosen better at champ select, dipshit. dipshit. You don't have a campsite. I don't know what to tell you. Ruins also has an oasis node that gives you similar functionality. None of these nodes... I had a very interesting interaction in BDO today. I was doing my daily grind when someone came across, uh, someone came to contest my, the spot and we dueled. I managed to get the opponent to 60% and died. After the duel, I asked about his gear score and he said he was 100 gear score higher. And then he said, good fight. Just stay and grind. I'm a switch. Not sure. Uh, he was, was he amazed by how well I struggle against him or was he just a good guy? Um, every once in a while you walk up on something and it's so cute uh, and adorable that you just don't want to interrupt its natural habitat. Uh, that is what has happened here. When you walk up to a new player and you just fucking one-shot them in the DFS, you say, you know what? You can have the spot. You need this. You know what I mean? I've done it before, too. Although I don't really DFS people ever. So far, have any people have DFS'd me, gotten one shot at Histria, and then I've just said, you know what, you can have it. Gathering component. As of the making of this video, they're just there for you to Mob invest in the follow great man. effect. Both of these zones are enormous, like I said, and it will be highly unlikely for you to struggle. Did Anders choose the unicorn? Holy shit, he might be the only guy on the whole server that chose find the unicorn. An open rotation. With that said, there does seem to be some areas where density this is, the global is a little bit though, better right? than others. These grind spots drop new This is really, honestly, I like this theming. This is a way better version of Madaya just flat out. Bro, the old Madaya is just a bunch of twigs and rocks and dumb shit that constantly keep your character from going places. This looks like an actual, like, okay, the landscape is transforming into a desert here. Essence of Dark Hunger and Origin of Dark Hunger. Four essences can be combined to make one origin. Holy and shit. Origin of Dark Hunger. 
They're 2.3 billion of pe Oh my fuck, I might just hit the reblath anyway. Hunger will allow you to increase fuck your fill stacks by a certain amount. Origin of Dark Hunger can also be sold to the market with a max price of 3 billion silver. Essence of Dark Hunger can also be sold to the market with a max price of 750 million silver. Now with that said, I a never money. did see someone get an Origin of Dark Hunger in my limited testing, but I did see quite a few people get the essences of Dark Hunger. If we take well, a look good. at the market, Sales oh look he's going into a hole no go back the patch has i'm actually just enjoying watching him running around the new region that's kind of what i wanted to watch we can this see that essences are much more common than the origin sales we also have a new item that drops here called quad bdo worth coming back to absolutely it's up tremendous it's got more content than it's ever had even if you're a pde player it's absolutely incredible mm-hmm fragment this can be combined with two alcar crystals to make an alcar crystal of deliverance ah, i should the juicer alcar juicer elkar let's say the names of these items and the city name all this stuff are translations from korean so they may be localized into where's the gear review option we'll do it right after this video different names but i think you get the idea to make this new crystals like i said you'll need two elkar crystals this quadir fragment they announced this and now elkars are on pre-order it always happens some dipshit's got it oh, i'm gonna i know instead of Wait, 12, there's ignores. always one idiot i i know i got it I'll buy the L cars now, and then they will be worth more when it comes out. Oh, yeah. Until they give an L car away as a fucking login reward, and L cars tank for three fucking months. This remains at 10%. It can also be sold to the market with a max price of 1 billion silver. These areas also dropped their new treasure item, Laffy's Telescope. This allows you to teleport yourself to yeah, your- Yeah, Kurtuga bleeds Elkars? Yeah, no. It's not worth buying out the Elkar market. It's just going to get restocked. A friend or guild member, you can obtain one of these pieces by exchanging three Vodkin Compass pieces, but that piece also drops from both these areas. Each area will also have a unique piece that drops from there, so you will need to grind both city of the dead and tungrad ruins to get this new treasure item okay so i have to grind in a lawless fucking hellscape as a streamer where everyone knows where the fuck i am i'm never getting this fucking item i'm gonna get fucking run 320 ap that's not gear score that's ap oh shit that drops from there so you will need to grind both city of the dead and tungrad ruins to get this new treasure item trash loot at these areas are around 33,000. hide your server that doesn't stop people um sure sap thanks that follow big dog i appreciate it over each and they both have unique mechanics that help you clear faster i'm about 100 gear score below the recommended gear to grind here so i'm not able to show you proper grind rotations till this releases on global servers but i do want to show you the main mechanics that i talked about in city of the dead you'll see that each pack of monsters has a wizard looking guy with a staff he will cast certain that's this guy he's talking about this guy right here abilities and if you cc him when he is in mid cast animation he will get knocked down and every monster around him will also get knocked down okay that's pretty easy buff and be able to deal massive and then you just run them okay down attacks in tungrad ruins we have a similar currently zero l cars on the market it'll refresh easily easily that will repopulate very quickly mechanic, there will be one mage monster who is the only one who can be cc'd if you cc him and then kill him he will explode and nearby monsters will be stunned and receive a dp debuff you will also this is kind of cool i like the scenery here i like that it's wide open uh it helps encourage uh it helps encourage like pvp honestly massive damage that is the main way you'll want to grind here like focus down I like that this is the new bandit area because like this is where the highest gear score spot is so competition for resources should be fierce here like it should be difficult to grind here just from a pvp and a pve standpoint and it's wide open and it's right next to the main towns like bro it's gonna be a fucking clown fiesta in here down the mages and burst when you have the monster cc'd or debuff yeah honestly they, they changed the guild stuff but again i said they were going to give us something new and this this looks fine otherwise they're pretty standard nothing crazy they do deal a lot I used of the main sorceress so i uh, just wasn't sure if she'd still be viable oh absolutely uh and if you have any doubt you can watch my choose my class uh choose your class guys I made a class guy for every single class and spec in the game if you want to see how they're doing. Damage. Tungrad Ruins monsters have both quick and slow monsters. They're majority quick striker style. Oh, look how cool those fucking mobs look. 
Yeah, they're basically dressed in Orzeka armor, but that's badass. Monsters, there's the mage, and usually a couple of hammer brawlers, very similar actually to Shere Khan if you grind it there. So some give quick attacks, others are slower. Yeah, these are really cool. AOE that you need to avoid. City of the Dead is more of a mix, but they're mostly slow, so easier to move around them. And hammer class one, I've been asking for that for years. Give it to me. I'll play it in a heartbeat. Avoid taking damage. City of the Dead in particular, if you can meet the accuracy requirement and have at least close to 301 Kudum, I think it's going to be doable depending on your class. I should also point out Ulukita is a lawless zone. What this means is that if you attack another player, you are given a lawless mark. If you then die to a... Wait. Is the jail still in Valencia? Or did they move the jail? So if you send a player to jail... No. Ah, oh, damn. That would have been juiced. Damn. Ah, oh, shit. All right, new jail. All right, new jail. I, it just takes me back to that Parks and Rec skit. Overcook the fish, jail. Don't kill them enough, jail. Kill them too much, jail. Don't kill them at all, believe it or not, still jail. You have the best patience in the whole world monster or another player you will I be love sent to this place called Cecil Taj Prison. At least I'm guessing this is where you go okay. since the prison. Oh, I get to learn a new prison mechanic. Yes. Prison is fairly large. There's nothing there. I'm guessing once you spawn here as a lawless, it will most likely have guards that you have to run away from. I should point out that if you are a red player, you don't have the same death penalty as you, you do cook, in you're under areas when yeah, you are like... in a lawless zone. So it's one of the better areas to be a red karma player. Originally, these yeah, two spots is... were supposed to have way better. zones, but they are so vast. Oh, this is I so good. They actually don't say they don't address red players and stuff. This looks way better. I think it makes sense to have. Never mind the fact that he's running through here with fox flare and a training buff running that's fine are you training or are you grinding them here plus this area being a lawless zone it doesn't seem likely to be an area where they get marnie zone no i think there will be more I red player wrong, or just we'll like see. players sent that's to jail pretty much and stuff all you need to know about this it's new fun. area i'm gonna leave you with a walkthrough of the aspir and cake City. buff well he's not yeah whatever like. and let me know what you think of the new region if you're below 700 gs do you think you'll try to grind city of the dead let me know hell no if you are below 700 gear score, don't even Comments. look at this. And reminder, support your creator event is on every Anders? purchase you make. You can use code Anders. Capitalism. That's right. Code Anders. Support the man. He's a unit. Matter. And at no additional cost to you, I will get a small kickback. Always appreciated. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Wait, that's only half the video though. Wait, what? Oh, this is the walkthrough. Okay, so he's just exploring the new city, yeah. Alright. Oh, he's got the banger music, too. We love the banger music. Oh, look, a new castle. Come catch Yo. these just resubscribed for eight months. Come catch these. Slash slash. Thanks for the resub for eight months, buddy. Welcome back. We almost have a kid together. What should we name it? Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. What are we reviewing today? This is the new region, like walk through like uh, this is Anders playing like he's just walking through the new region that we're getting soon. Yeah, this is Alta Nova, not in ruins. Yeah, this looks really good. I like that this is a different take on Medaya. We don't have a bunch of twigs and fucking rocks and shit just everywhere. It looks way more up to date. They should remaster Alta Nova. The entirety of Medea needs to look more like this. It just looks cleaner. It just looks way cleaner. Would Blue Woo be inappropriate? No, that's totally appropriate. It's a first gate. It's a first gate. Um... Not Chad with a brand new Prime sub. Nothing makes me wetter than a brand new Prime sub. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for choosing me. Okay, so he's talking to everybody. By the way, you should do this all the time. You should always talk to people. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is the new castle. We don't even know what they're really going to do with this quite yet. I don't think it's like a siege region. It's not meant to be like a siege castle. It's just like different. It's kind of like Odalita's castle. Alright, so this is like the trade vendor. Okay, yeah, whatever. Isn't this coming next week? Um, it might be. It might be. I'm not sure. They don't tell me anything. I'm just a BDO partner.
Okay, that's important. You get two, you get two storages. You get two more storages, boys. It's a lot more room for stuff for all of our things. We have more room for activities. Koosh360, Ebola, thanks for that follow, buddy. Miso Bumblebee, thanks for that follow as well, guys. All right, this is our, oh yeah, this is our blacksmith. This is... Hola. The hell is it? What are those? Those look like the wand crystals. They just use the same. Those aren't wand crystals, but like they use the same picture as the wand crystals, Snarchilly and stuff. Yeah, okay. I they they couldn't use the different picture. Like, and there's the mirror thing for Garmos. Okay. Three milk. No. No. Golden underscore twenty six. It didn't show the Kron stones for three months. Prince of Persia vibes. It should kind of have Prince of Persia, except we're not in the desert yet. This is kind of like a transformation to the desert, right? You're kind of in a savanna. It's supposed to feel more like a savanna. I'm a biologist, so like, it's important to me that they nail these. That you know what I mean. Um, Golden26 with the resub for three months. Oh, welcome back to the squad, everybody. Enjoy that new uh, sub badge, man. Thank you. Thank you for that continued support. Wrong NPC. Okay, let's go back. Let's see. Did he... Did he see Cron Stones? Hit the shop button. Scroll. Oh. <sighs> tragic. Fucking tragic. Hey, we got all these new players to play the game. You know what we should do? Make it much harder on them. Yeah, super smart. That won't make anyone want to quit the game. Geologist, biologist. I'm a biology teacher, astronomy teacher, ecology teacher, forensics teacher. Hard is good, yes. Hard is good. And not reduce the, reduce the Kron requirement at all. I, yeah. Again, I've expressed my opinion on this ridiculously stupid change. It's dumb. Is the leader, like, is this another Shikatu situation? It's giving me Shikatu vibes. Is it, is it another goblin literally, like, leading his overlords and legions of people? It's a fucking goblin. It's a fucking goblin. I wonder what this guy's name is. Can anybody read Korean? What the fuck does that say? It's Afuaru? There's no way. Shuriken Sarik. Okay, I believe Yonggi because he knows what the fuck. He, he speaks Korean. Afuaru. Not every goblin is Afuaru. Uh, <sighs> Cock. Probably the most accurate translation from Korean to English. Look at that scenery. I like that. It looks like it makes me like feel like I'm in Mesa Verde National Park. The motherfucking Grand Canyon. It's Dobby, yeah. This is really cool. Okay, there's not much here, but this is cool. Yeah, not much here to bring us over here, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's kind of ruined, too. Like, if you look at it, it's got, like, a bunch of ruins and stuff. I wonder if something... Like, it's still under... It's either still under construction or they had some sort of big siege that, like... I I'm curious what the main story is going to say about this. This Maybe it was, like, an old prison or something and then, like, there's a big siege. And it, like, broke all the people. Yeah, because, look, there's, there's broken ramparts and all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, there's... Oh, God, what are they? They're, they're, they're poking him with forks? Oh, shit. Oh, my God, it's a huge... Oh, God. Oh, talk to him. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is really nice. Let's clean the gates down, baby. This looks like, um... This looks like there was a big siege and it was uh we're not fucking leaving situation. They're definitely all still here. Oh, she's kind of a unit. 
She's kind of a specimen. Hello. Zagan Sheena, thanks for that follow. And uh and Zen see me. Thanks for those follows, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh OG CCA, thanks for that follow. Appreciate that. I'm not leaving. That's right. That's what they said. I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, they have catapults. This is one thing I wish we had in BDO Siege. Give me a fucking death. Then maybe that's not a catapult. That honestly just looks like a lever system. But fuck it, I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a trebuchet. Yeah, it's, that's not a catapult. But I do want trebuchets and catapults. I want them. I don't give a shit. I think that, uh, like, adding catapults to Siege on both sides would be sick. That'd be so much more fun. So much more fun. All right. All right. Dave, big thank you to Anders. I'm going to link the video one more time. You got, make sure you guys go give it a like. Subscribe to Anders. Anders, the absolute unit. Again, code Anders at checkout. Um, if you would, would love to support him, he's one of our best YouTubers uh, in the entire category.